Assalamu alaikum, what is up everybody? In this video you will learn about tablet manufacturing by direct compression. Which basically means that we are going to produce or make a tablet by a method called direct compression. Now what is basically direct compression? Direct compression is by far the most simplest method of manufacturing or preparing a tablet. The most simplest method of pre preparation of tablet. It only requires that the appropriate amount of active ingredient must be blended with the appropriate amount of excipient before compression. Now most of you don't know about the excipient and active ingredient I have already discussed them in my previous videos and I'm gonna share the link down in the description you can just click that link and you can learn about excipient and active ingredient be sure to click that link because if you don't understand the active ingredient and excipient concept then you won't be able to understand this so I'll write it down proper amount of AI means active ingredient must be blended with excipient before compression this is the schematic representation of the direct compression method here you can see this portion is called the hopper basically in the hopper we add the mixture of active ingredient and excipient which we have already prepared then that then that powder goes into the feed frame and then through the agitator it goes into the punches now what is the function of punches as as the name indicates it punches it compresses the powder into a compact tablet form so this is the part where the tablets are actually made this is the part where the, act, uh, the tablet gets its actual shape. They are compressed here. Uh, what, is the, what is the function of agitator drive motor here? I'll explain it. This part here basically prevents segregation and enhances the flow of powder from the hopper into the die cavity here. Die cavity is basically a cavity where the powder is temporarily stored before going into punches and uh, agitator motor, drive motor also reduces the air entrapment which makes the powder more dense so this is an example of how to uh, how to prepare a tablet by direct compression specifically in this example we are taking diclofenic sodium tablet actually I have made this tablet myself in uh, in in a lab by direct compression so this is an example we take diclofenic sodium about 10 gram this is this is basically active ingredient and then we take lactose the amount the amount of the drug depends upon your requirements this is now the excipient portion Every cell we took four forty gram, also excipient, primal gel, two gram, talcum, two gram, magnesium stearate, also two gram. Now these these are all excipients, okay? Only one part here is active ingredient, diclofenic sodium. And I've discussed that diclofenic sodium is which which type of tablet? film coated tablet so after mixing all of these components then we will introduce this powder into our hopper here then the the, the rest is history <laughs> now each and every excipient over here has its own role for example lactose here is used as a diluent and I've already discussed diluent in my excipient video and I'll share the link down in the description you can check that out as well uh, for example, lactose is a diluent and uh, magnesium stearate is a lubricant, talcum is also lubricant. So what I mean to say is that each and every excipient has its own function. 
Alright, so now we're going to discuss uh, some advantages of the direct compression. What are their benefits? Why do we use this method? Okay, the first advantage is that it has a fewer processing steps and we need less equipment to manufacture tablet through this method. Fewer processing steps and less equipment are needed. As I have already discussed here in the diagram, it's a pretty simple method, right? Fewer steps are there, you just you just mix the powder and then add the powder into the hopper and then the rest is history and then the powder goes into the feed frame and then the agitator mo um, drive agitator drive motor performs its own functions uh, you know and and the uh, and the powder goes into the punch section and then it is compressed and the tablet is prepared so it's quite simple all you have to do is just put the powder in the hopper section over here this is hopper so first advantage is fewer processing steps and less equipment are needed the second advantage of this method is that the tablet manufacturing can be carried out without the involvement of any sort of moisture and heat so it guarantees the stability of the tablet no involvement of moisture and heat hence stability is guaranteed now the third advantage you must understand this point the tablets produced by direct compression have relatively faster dissolution time as compared to the tablets manufactured by other methods like wet granulation generally have tablets produced by this method generally have faster dissolution time as compared to wet granulation because tablets produced by this method disintegrate into primary particle size as compared to others which disintegrate first into granules and then primary particle size. So these are basically the three advantages of this method. So guys, that's it about this method and I hope you guys understood the point. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you find this video helpful and share with your friends as much as you can. Uh, until next video, take care.